Here in LA, we know all about this, right? Life gets a little bit crazy, out of control, but there are some really simple ways to get centered. Entrepreneur Russell Simmons is here to talk about how yoga and meditation has really helped him. Also here, at yoga instructor Ivory Jenkins. Welcome, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Such a calming presence in our studio. <laughs> I know yoga and meditation really an important part of your life for a long time. Yeah, many years, over 20 years. A pretty regular practice, a very regular practice. And um, what changes did you notice in, in your well, life when you started the practice? As an entrepreneur, I used to believe that the anxiety and the phonetic energy drove me. My nickname was Rush. And what I learned was the opposite, that operating from a calm space, from a place of abundance and happiness is very attractive. And also the focus that you gain, you're so much more effective in the world. So if you take time for yourself and work out of a calm space, then you accomplish so much more. So it changed my life dramatically, not only in my businesses, but in my relationships and in the way that I see the world. And most importantly, I gained a greater happiness, mm -hmm. which I think that's everybody's here for, right? So that, you know, money doesn't make you happy. Right. But happy makes you money. I learned that as well, so. I think a lot of people think that to practice yoga, you have to have time. You have to go to a studio. But you've come up with some ways uh, that you can do it at work? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So sometimes yogis think, or not yogis, but people who are at work think that they have to come to a studio to do yoga. But you can find connection right at your desk. So one really um, awesome pose to take, we call it half pigeon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you cross one ankle like this, just ankle over knee. It's like a figure four with your legs. And then you can just fold over. Yeah, hands would be on the desk. You let your head come down to the desk and you just take five breaths. That's Yoga is five breaths. Inhale, exhale, switch to the other side. Five breaths. A lot of people have tension in their shoulders, right? Absolutely. Everyone's here yeah. at their desk, round it over like, like this, this. behind the wheel, right? Exactly. <laughs> so we want to cultivate the opposite. Yeah, open the chest. Mm. You take your hands just right at the back of the chair. Yeah, lift your shoulder blades, press them into your chest, and open the chest five breaths. It's not hard. It's not hard It at doesn't all. take a lot of time, but it, it really can make a, a difference in but, your life. This has been... But I want to say something. You know, it's very important you recognize that if you don't have 20 minutes in the morning to meditate, you need two and a half hours. And if you don't take care of your first chakra, your first, yourself first, so maybe you come to a 6.30 uh, morning class at Tantris, or maybe you come to a 7.30 at night class, you need to take care of yourself. To be a good servant to the world, to be a good business person, to be a good anything, you need to first serve the self. So showing up for a practice, and what she said about the breath, mm -hmm. learning to breathe properly and operate from an abundance, that's a, that's a full-time job too. And you should make that job your first job. And then you can be much great at whatever else the world throws at you. And you mentioned Tantris. That's your studio in yes. West Hollywood. You, you have special classes there, Soul Sunday. You have vegan food meals, music, entertainment. Yeah. yeah, we have great performances and we have lots of great teachers. They're deeply studied, which makes them a little different. It's a hot vinyasa. It's right there, 9200 Sunset. It's probably the most beautiful studio anyone's ever seen. I've I really, seen the pictures. Yeah, I spent a lot of yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, resources. But, you know, we built this beautiful, every prayer on every step I put there. There's something that I've been very, very focused on because I felt with all the yoga, all the asana, which is the physical practice, people aren't teaching as much the science of happiness. And so Tantra is, is a school that we incorporate fun cultural things like Beyonce's music with devotional music like Krishna mm. Das. We mix it up and make it fun, but we teach people how to be happy and be more effective in the world without preaching. Yeah, so you have very, to go there. You have to check you it gotta out. You've got to go to Tantra. 9200 it. Sunset. Thank you And both. come at 6 o'clock tonight. Somebody comes at 6 o'clock tonight and they ask for me, I'll let them in the class free. Tell them you know Russell. <laughs> I'll be Thank there. You. 6 o'clock tonight. All right, a day of love. It's a special coming up there presented by Tantra, Style, and Aveda. And it's next Saturday. It's May 13th from 11 to 3. It's at the Tantra Center for Yogi Science on Sunset Boulevard. They're right there in West Hollywood. You can get all the information, find out how to make reservations on our website, kcal9.com. Just click Scene on TV. Again, you can go by at 6 o'clock tonight, too, and ask for Russell. It's an